What's up, guys? Side note, I just found out my phone can take pictures of myself. I'm sitting here. Uh, I'm trying to get some work done. Some dope orange chicken. Um, I put pants on for you guys, even though I didn't need to, because you can't even see me, but unless I go like that, then you can see Fuck your team and the extras you bring. If you talk about you with no substance in between. Trying to get some work done. I realize my greatest weakness is being alone in a room and uh, with a bed and Wi-Fi, trying to get work done. And then uh, I started watching some Gary Vee, and that's why I watched Gary Vee because it put me in the mindset: I'm gonna go from Gary Vee to writing a few poems, and then I'm gonna get some other work done with my books and stuff, and get excited again to deliver stuff to you guys. Um, also, something really cool that's exciting that's spurring my work, Frankie. Uh, Michelle is now managing the expansion tour uh, Instagram, so if you want to check that out, go to at official expansion, and um, that's kind of it. So, let's see. Let's see if I can get some work done. I'm going to check back in on my weekly Kenya. Catch me there. What's up, guys? Kenya here. Um, I'm heading to a meeting with a um, dude from AFTV5 who I met at the Pan African Festival. Ah, he's waiting on my Uber, which he's probably been waiting on me. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. All right, peace. See it either way. Hey guys, just wanted to say. Oh, let me let me show you guys the studio a little bit. Just a peek. I'm gonna be back here on Friday, but um, yeah, this is the AFTV Five Studio. This is Mr. Samuel Yemthi, who I met at the Pan African Festival um, that was on Saturday in San Antonio. Um, but we just had a, a really cool meeting, and um, I don't know. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted you to check it out and look at the studio a little bit. I like that banner right there. They got the AFTV5 studio. And we're going to be doing um, actually a recording on Friday. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, I'm going to hit up Mr. Composition, Kevin, the Prince, the author, to see if he can come out, and then we'll we'll put something really fun together. Anyway, keep watching. I'll see you in a little bit, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Okay. What's up, everybody? Or me. Future me. How are you doing? Uh, it's weird that you are watching this video, but okay. Never mind. <laughs> I think that it's kind of funny, the idea of who's going to watch the videos. Um, or why we even make videos. Anyway, we are out here at this uh, beautiful um, apartment pool. But where are we really? You know, Austin is such a beautiful city. Very interestingly located and very understated. You know, it has its own gigantic river that fuels so much of probably what turned the city into itself. Um, just like we have in San Antonio. And um, we don't we take for granted sometimes the rules and like the barriers that we've built around the areas in which we like to relax and what that creates, you know, which is society, which is why, you know, <laughs> this well protected, beautiful day is only for the citizens of this uh, establishment or. And it is a really good day. Like, what, what day of the year? It's, it's May, May 12th. I can probably say this is one of the most beautiful days in existence. And I think that's what Austin can definitely um, say about itself as a city. That it is definitely built around um, a really nice experience, which comes from the river. Uh, anyway, it makes this stuff sustainable. So it's not like anything... Um, any rules that are created around society aren't for the sustainability of society. They are. There's, there's reasons why, you know, there's a fence around this beautiful day that someone can have. Um, but, yeah, I guess just learning to be free, moving within that, is the plight of the black knowledge and is the plight of the me. Um, anyway. I will make sure effort not to post this and just watch it and be. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's definitely going out there. 